Are you ready to claim the victory God has given you? Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 said, For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. One of the hardest things for us believers of Jesus is to understand when we go through life challenges is to know God has already won the battle for us. We have already won, but we walk around like we have been defeated because the adversary does not want us to know we won the battle. No matter the situation, small or great, we find ourselves in, we need to praise God for who He is. One of the most powerful prayer we could do as Christians is give God all the glory and praise and worship. As I mature in my work with Jesus, I am learning how important praise and worship is to God. The Bible commands us to praise and worship God. There are many instances of angels and other heavenly beings worship and honor God in heaven. Revelation 5 verse 11 to 12 says, When I looked and I heard the voice of many angels around the throne, the living creatures and the elders, and the number of them was 10,000, 10,000, and 10,000 of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. God is deserving of all our praise because He is our Creator. He is our Provider. He is our Sustainer and our Savior. Nothing in this world would be possible if God did not allow it. God has all the wisdom and knowledge and all that is good comes from Him. Hebrews 13 verse 15 says, Therefore, let us offer through Jesus a continuous sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to His name. I understand the challenge many of us believers of Jesus face every day. In those dark moments, the adversary has a way of reminding you, this is too much, do not deal with it. You're never going to overcome this. I'm not telling you this is going to be easy as you go through this challenging moment. I just want to remind you, you won the battle through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. As I write this, I'm going through a challenging moment in my life. If I stay focused on these challenges, I will never see a way to overcome them. I choose to believe God has given me victory. Once we understand God's calling on our lives, we will have better understanding of the challenging that will come our way. The adversary knows the calling on your life, and he will use every tactic to get you off track even using your spouse, family members, or anyone else he could get his hands on. We are going to praise God to invite God into our situation tonight. The Bible tells us that God abides in the praises of His people. When we magnify God, we invite His presence into our lives. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So praise and worship honors God's presence. It honors God's greatness when we are able to magnify God and focus on His goodness in spite of our personal challenges. Through this practice, we testify that God is greater than all. God is helping us even when we do not see Him. He will never leave us stranded. He will not disappoint us. He will always do His part. But we have to do our part. We are going to praise and worship Him for who He is tonight. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Let us praise Him tonight. Psalms 118 Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say His love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say His love endures forever. When I'm hard pressed, I cry to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can me mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemy. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All the nations surrounded me. But in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They surrounded me on every side. But in the name of the Lord, I cut them down. They swarmed around me like bees, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them down. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. 
The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die, but live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. The Lord has chastened me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open for me the gates of the righteous. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks, for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builder rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us. With bows and hands, join in festal procession, the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Lord, you are the kings of kings and the lords of Lord. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Prince of Peace, the Great I Am. You are he who healed the broken hearted. You set the captives free, Father. You are my healer. You rescue me from my enemies. You set me high upon a rock. You comfort me in all my troubles. You give me an abundant harvest. You restore what the enemy has stolen from me, Lord. You hide me in the shadow of your wings. You deliver me from evil. You rescue me from every trap. You are the rewarder of those who diligently seek you. Your name is above all name, Father. You are my defender. You are my provider. Father, you are mercy. You are a God of justice. You are a God that does not change. You make all things new. Thank you for calling me a friend. You are my savior. You are the perfecter of my faith. You give me the desires of my heart. Father, thank you for giving me exceedingly, abundantly above all you could hope or imagine. Thank you for rebuking the devourer on my behalf. Thank you for delivering me from my distress. You always cause me to triumph. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Father, I praise you because of who you are. You are a good and merciful Father. Father, I praise you because I know you will never leave me or forsake me. Father, I praise you because of your unwavering faithfulness in my life. Father, I praise you because you are bigger than the biggest, stronger than the strongest and better than the best in Jesus name father I praise you because you are bigger than all my problems father I praise you tonight because you are my great provider father I praise you tonight because you are my healer and my protector father I praise you because you will never allow my enemies to laugh at my downfall father I praise you because you are my deliverer and my salvation father I praise you because you are ever patient and ever merciful to me father I thank you for the grace to be alive and to sing your praise to you today in Jesus name Lord Jesus, cause me to have new testimony tonight that I may offer more thanksgiving to your name in the midst of the saints in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I lift up your name high above all names, above everything in heaven and earth in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I will boast of your goodness and your great kindness all day long and I praise you for being my God in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I praise you for lifting the battles of my life in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I will praise you in the midst of trials. You are indeed the reason why I am happy tonight. Oh Lord, I magnify your name and acknowledge your greatness in Jesus name. O Lord, I join the congregation of brethren to give praise to you for you have done great things in my life in the name of Jesus. O Lord, I praise your name today because only the living can praise your name. The dead cannot praise you. O Lord, I praise you today for you are good and your mercy endures forever in Jesus name. Father, I praise you for only you can do what no man can do in Jesus name. Father, I praise you for I have won the victory in Christ Jesus. O Lord, I will sing aloud of your praises before unbelievers. And I will not be ashamed. O oh Lord, I will praise you in your house, the church before the saints in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I praise you because you are righteous. O oh Lord, I praise you because you have become my salvation in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I praise you today because you are my God and I have no other God in Jesus' name. Father, as long as I'm still breathing, I will keep praising you. Father, I praise you because the devil cannot stop me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I praise you because you have magnified your son Jesus through the earth in the name of Jesus. Father, I give you all the glory, all the honor, honor and adoration tonight in Jesus mighty name. Amen.